Exploring Eastern North Carolina and the summer months is one of my favorite ways to find snakes. With more mild nighttime temperatures prompting movement for many different species, you never know what you might see. And every once in a while, you stumble upon something incredible. Alright everyone, check it out. This right here is why I came out to Eastern North Carolina. This is the Carolina Pig and Rattlesnake. Now you can tell right away, this is not a very big snake. And in fact, pygmy rattlesnakes are actually the smallest rattlesnake on the planet. That's incredible. At maximum size, they rarely exceed two feet in length. So what you're seeing right here is actually a fully grown individual. Now one of the first things you'll notice is that beautiful red coloration. Now there's wide variety in color and pattern across pygmy rattlesnakes. They have a very wide range, but here in the Carolinas, this is called the Carolina Pig Rattlesnake. You get that beautiful rusty red color, especially on the head on this one. And then you have a blotch pattern running down the back. Now, these are not very commonly seen, mostly because they're small. While they do have a very wide range, these spend most of their lives under logs or under cover or in very, very thick grass. Because they are very small, their prey selection is also pretty limited. So they're not feeding on those larger rodents that pit vipers like uh, copperhead or rattlesnake might be eating. These guys can prey on invertebrates, salamanders, very, very small rodents, um, but their size does make that a limiting factor. These are pit vipers, they are venomous, they are rattlesnakes obviously, and they actually have hematoxic venom. So they can bite humans, um, and that venom is potent to humans. Just like a copperhead, it would be the kind of venom that destroys the blood cells. Although, uh, it's very, very rare here in the Carolinas that people get bit just because these snakes are very rare. They are extraordinarily shy. They spend most of their lives under logs, like I've mentioned. Now, in Florida, there are quite a few more bites. They get bigger there, and they are more common. But here in the Carolinas, this is one of the most cryptid snakes that we have. I've been in this area so many times, and I've never seen one until right now. Now, they do actually have a rattle. I'll show you some footage right now of them using it. It doesn't really make any noise at all because it's so small. Um, but they actually do use it as a caudal lure. So when they're small, that will usually have kind of a white or green hue. And just like a neonate copperhead, they can use that to lure and prey items. But as the smallest rattlesnake in the world, you will probably never see one of these unless you're really looking for them. I think they're a really fantastic species because they are so small, but so brilliantly colored. And you can see that even though I'm quite a bit bigger than him, he is not scared of striking out at me um, or wiggling that tail and letting me know that he is, in fact, venomous. This is one of the coolest species I've ever seen. Um, they are very ecologically important. Because they are small reptiles, they do represent kind of that middle layer of the ecosystem. So they're preying on all kinds of different small rodents and amphibians and reptiles, but they're also food for lots of animals like carnivorous mammals or birds. That is so amazing. I'm incredibly grateful that we were able to see this today. The reason he's out here at night um, is because, like other pit vipers, he does have those heat-sensitive pits, which he can use to locate prey, and which he's using to look at me right now. But man, that is so gorgeous. I'm gonna grab some more B-roll shots. The mosquitoes are destroying us, but I'm so glad I could show you the snake. All right, everyone, that's just about it for this video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the pygmy rattlesnake. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more educational wildlife content coming every Saturday morning. Also, check out my Instagram and Twitter at The Wild Report for more consistent pictures and video clips. Thanks so much for watching and keep adventuring everywhere. This is Ben Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.